Welcome back to The Outside Show, where unfortunately we have no shortage of people behaving badly in our public lands. Uh, grim. Um, today's hit comes from Lake Mead, Nevada recreation area, um, where uh, onlookers recorded video of two men accompanied by a child just knocking over rocks. Um, we have the video here. It's it's weird to watch. The kid seems really upset, um, but tons and tons of witnesses. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems what? very confusing because the kid, the kid is almost has more logical sense than the people. Yeah, she's giving big rock. like daddy why vibes. Like, yeah. it, like stop. Yeah, and I just, I just don't understand the 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 purpose of doing this and sort of like what they thought the outcome would be of like, yeah, we go to this beautiful place and now we're just gonna push over boulders we're yeah push over rocks off maybe it's like cliff. letting the intrusive thoughts win because of course we've all walked around and oh. been like oh i wonder if, but like absolutely yeah we've all stood over the edge of a mountain and just be like what if i just yeah just but like these over. guys I, I would assume drove through a gatehouse yes. paid an entrance fee knew they're on public lands their kid was afraid um people were filming them which it's hard to not notice when you're being filmed at close like what goes through these people's heads and the um the service the lake mead recreation area uh, it's extension of the mps put out an apb on their instagram being like hey we need to id these dudes because these acts um i think they're punishable up to like prison time and big fines and i don't know if you remember a couple years ago the goblin valley incident where boy scout leaders of all people were toppling hoodoos um it's a serious thing it, the parks take it seriously it is a very serious thing and even from the video it looks like they're not even on the trail so not only is it bad for destroying our natural environment but it's also like an unsafe thing to be doing just to be walking and, mm -hmm. and going off trail is especially with places where the rock is falling that easily it almost just seems like they were trying they were like going out of their way to ruin other people's yeah. day to ruin the environment i don't i don't know i i also kind of i kind of get the you know there's to me i watch it and i go oh those are kind of like what if they thought they were karens like you know those, the yeah. the rock stacks that you build along the river or stuff like that and i'm like maybe these people were just so gung they thought they're they were like, cleaning up the, yeah they're yeah. like no we're so we're trying to knock over karens like no this is a mountain yeah, yeah i don't know and i think i've seen some comments that are just like oh maybe they just didn't know leave no trace principles i'm sorry i'm not going to cut them that slack it is not rocket science to be like hey maybe we shouldn't be knocking over piles of rock yeah um. <laughs> and and seeing the park rangers just almost almost have to be exhausted from having uh, you know, tourists around the country <laughs> <laughs> yeah just tourists around the country come and they just go come on like what 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 was the purpose of that yeah um so i hope i hope they do find them and i hope they like actually learn a lesson i just uh, you know i hope whatever they find mm -hmm. or if they get jail time or whatever that process looks like i just hope they actually like care and go like we we made a mistake yeah. i'm sorry that would mean a lot so here's a question so this this video was filmed by onlookers mm -hmm. um in the video you don't hear anybody saying anything um would you say something to someone if you saw like this bad behavior in a public space <sighs> i i i want to believe yes i mm -hmm. want to believe i would I feel like the only way I would actually say something, I would probably say like, what are you guys doing? As like a blanket statement. Uh, but then the only way I would really feel invigorated to say something is if they were like, if they were above a bunch of people. So if there was like danger to other people yeah. on the trail or people falling or anything, I, I would absolutely stop it because I'm like, that's a life. But if it's, if it's just people pushing over a tree or knocking over cairns or knocking over rocks or whatever, I just go, what what are you what are you doing? But that doesn't really solve any issues. Yeah, well, it's a vibe it? thing too, right? right? If they come back with like, oh, no, just knocking over rocks, then I feel like that opens a door to have a conversation. Right. Or if someone's like, what do you care? That's when you're like, you know what? I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna take the photo. I think it's totally. I I know everyone wants to see a hero and right. think they'll be a hero, but people are sketchy. I, I don't fault anybody for just taking the video and then turning to the park rangers. Yeah. The and and have you done any? <laughs> what's your feel my, about? The one time I was a hero, um, I, so I have a national wildlife refuge behind my house I can run through because it's a wildlife refuge. Uh, no dogs are allowed because it's like bird nesting right. ground and stuff. And I'm putzing around back there at my very slow pace and I see this couple with this adorable puppy, like so stinking cute. <laughs> but my gut was just like, oh, but there's no dogs around here. And recreation is a secondary purpose of national wildlife right. refuges. So if people break the rules they could just close it to all access right. and be like this isn't for people this isn't for runners there's just too many the dogs wildlife. this is yeah. just for the birds so i stopped and i was like hey guys adorable puppy and like yeah thanks me now um, <laughs> and i was like so i don't know if you saw the signs like i'm gonna assume you missed it but like dogs are allowed here it's a wildlife refuge it'd be real shame to have it closed and they're like oh we didn't see the signs but thanks and then they kept walking away from the gate but i, I said my piece i tried to allow them away to could. say that they didn't see it because um, no one wants to admit they're intentionally breaking the rules and they're yeah. called out 
Um, but again, I got the good vibe. It was a puppy vibe, right? You know, if someone was being combative, I'd just be like, this isn't worth it. Not gonna, not gonna deal. Now, did you feel compelled because this was your own backyard? Or, Probably. Or just because you knew the rules? Because it sort of changes the dynamic when you're like, oh, this is part of my For space. For sure. Instead of just like, this is a space I go in. And, and and it's the consequences. Like there's on leash only dog areas around here, and right. you'll see dogs off leash. And I'm just like, it's not worth the battle to be like, dogs been a leash, dogs been a leash, yeah. um, because the consequences is is not probably closure, hopefully. Right. Um, but you know, in my in my mind, I'm like, man, they're gonna close this to everybody, including right. my jogging self, to protect the baby geese. Um, which is acceptable if that's what it takes. Um, right. I would just like to see it not go there. The only other time I've spoken up is in climbing when you see something dangerous. That's, so if yes. someone's being inefficient or kind of silly, I'll just roll my eyes and not say anything. But you know, recently I was in Las Vegas and came across this party that clearly hadn't even Googled how to rock climb. They just went to REI, bought the stuff and, and tried. Um, and it's awkward, you guys. It is yeah. weird and hard to have hard conversations with strangers. Um, so for me, it's, it's safety is when I'll kind of peep up, but I'll do the same thing. I'll be like, Hey, so I don't know if you do this, yeah. but, <laughs> um, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's hard because I don't, I don't believe in snitching. I don't like snitching, <laughs> but I want to make sure people are safe and enjoying themselves. Yeah. And it's like, like you said, it's so that people can enjoy it for the future. People can have this to, for everyone, not just the one person who ruined it for, yeah. for all the kids at the party. And so. for those gentlemen who are so compelled to push over rocks, you're so close to Las Vegas, just pay for a smash room. Yeah, <laughs> just, just yeah that's, a great, that's a great thing. Just pay for a smash room. I mean, I know Lake Mead is running out of water, so just go close yeah. to the water and throw a rock. Skip yeah. a rock. Skip just a be rock. a normal person. Skip a rock and say Skip rocks, today. don't throw rocks, don't throw hands. Go to the Rangers. Man, what a, what a, that's a great bumper sticker. That's my sticker. new mantra. <laughs> Let us know what you think, and uh, would you say anything to these guys? Let us know at tosoutsideinc.com, and hopefully we never have to cover another people behaving badly segment again. But we probably will. <laughs> Well, folks, that was another wild episode of The Outside Show. And I think my takeaway was wondering, what would your through hiking trail name be? Ooh, my through hiking trail name would probably have to be Cookie. I, I, I think Cookie would be okay. a good one. It'd be yeah. a fun one. And if you were trying to share a tent spike with someone, you could be like, hey, you got room for Cookie? Yeah, let, let Cookie No in. one's going to say no to that. In. What about you? What would be your through hiking um, trail name? I had to think long and hard about this, but I think my through hiking name would be Rusty Wedgie. Rusty. I'm Mo Beck. <laughs> I'm Elon Stribling. And we'll see you next time on The Outside Show. See you, Rusty.